Hi, I'm Pastor Mike Ferry, and I want to welcome you to this week's installment of this week's Word of Encouragement. Now you'll notice the background's a little different than normal. This week I took some time off and I'm over in Depot Bay, Oregon, in a very good friend of mine's Justin Sparks Art Gallery. And what you see behind me are his watercolor prints and, and paintings. And uh, I just thought you could take a real quick view, see some of that beautiful stuff back there. I love his work. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, we're just hanging out with him this weekend for my birthday. So today's my birthday, so you get to celebrate with me. Now, as we get into today, I want to just quickly share some revelation I, that I really stumbled upon. And, and I'm, I'm working on really seeing it solidified in my life. So let me just bounce this off you and, and see how it hits your spirit. Hope and patient endurance births desire. I'll share that one more time. Hope and patient endurance births desire. See, when you're hoping for something, it's a lot of times it's an intangible. It's just beyond your reach. You haven't seen it manifested in your life. And this is the process that God uses to build faith in us. So as we're hoping for something and we're holding on and it's not arriving yet, it's not manifestation, there's not a manifestation of it, and we're just prayerfully waiting. And it's the patient endurance. We're, we're such a, a, a quick mcdonald's kind of mentality i want it now i want it my way i want it hot and i'm ready for it now endurance patience endurance is something that's really lacking in our society we're so instant gratification if we have to hold on if i have to wait for five more seconds i'm going to just throw a fit like you've never seen and our society has become so intolerant of be, being patient for anything i mean if Raising up a child, if you say, okay, give me five minutes, and they're, they're, they don't understand that concept. And we as a society have become so intolerant of having to wait for anything we want. But see, God is all about working that within our hearts. So hope and patient endurance births desire. And as we hold on, we have a hope for something. We're patiently enduring our faith being tried and we're pressing and pressing and pressing and the desire. I mean, there's, when, you, when you want something, you want it, okay? And that's usually taken care of in a short-term short gratification. You get it quickly. And what happens often, I don't know about you, but I can speak from my own experience. If I'm just hoping for something and I get it quickly like that, just a snap of the fingers and I have it, then my desire for it really is not something that builds across time. It's just bang, short term, oh, I'm happy. And you know what? At least in my life, in five minutes, that, that thing has lost its beauty. It's lost that, that really deep-seated desire. But if there's something that I've held out for, for a long time, say more than five minutes, say more than a day, more than a week, if I've held out for something for six months, eight months, a year, across that time, my hope and my patient endurance creates a desire that will not be denied. And you know how that feels. Have you, you know, have you put yourself in a position where desire is such a driving force? It keeps you motivated, keeps you going in difficult times? Well, let me just quickly, let's look at a couple of scriptures. I want to go to Psalms 31, 24. It says, be strong and let your heart take courage. In the midst of, of our trials of patiently enduring, we have to have a heart of courage to hold on. So many times we just cut and run. We bail on it. We just say, well, if I can't have it now, fine. And we change our direction because we do not know how to hold on. And when we've done to stand, we've done all to stand. We keep standing. We stand and we stand. That endurance brings about that perfect work in our lives where Christ is revealed. So going on with verse 24 says, all you who hope in the Lord. Do you hope in the Lord? See, there's a hope that we throw out there. Well, I hope it's nice today. I hope it's sunny tomorrow. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. And see, we put our hope in all these hollow, shallow things. But for those that put their hope in the Lord, that is the, the crucible 
That is the crucible of where faith is built. Your faith is built in the crucible of your hope in the Lord. Do you know that to be true? Think about that. Chew on that. Ask the Lord what he means by that. I want to go to, also, I want to go to Psalms. We're going to go up to 34. All right, let's jump over there quickly. Psalms 34, a little bit further. Getting it through here. And we're going to be looking at verse 18 and verse 22. So let me scroll down to that, that part, verse 18. Okay, verse 18 says, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted. You know, when you're brokenhearted, it's kind of hard to hang on to hope because there's so many cracks in us. Our heart is broken and our hope is leaking out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. I just want to pray for those who are brokenhearted right now. Father, I ask through your Holy Spirit that you touch the brokenhearted and seal up those cracks where their hope is leaking out and pour out an abundance of hope and fill in those places of lack in Jesus' name. So going on, hallelujah. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. John verse 22 says, The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. See, our hope is so vital. The Lord redeems the souls of his servants. When our, when our hope is leaking out and our hearts are broken, we must hang on that patient endurance because God has not given up on us. He's not going to lose us. He's holding us in the palm of his hand, that place of gentleness. And we just have to keep clinging to that, that hope. Remember what I said a couple weeks ago when we started, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when desire comes, it is a tree of life. So my encouragement to you today, as I stand amidst all this beauty of the Oregon coast and the, the whales across the street and the, and the waves crashing, just I'm going to give you a couple seconds at the end of this video where you get to see what I got to do on my birthday, just to get a little wave therapy where hope can be refreshed in you. So let me just pray for you and then take about 30, 40 seconds to just watch the waves and let God wave over you. Waves of waves of hope and refreshing in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you are pouring out words of encouragement over us, that you continue to speak over our lives. Our hope, built and strengthened by our patient endurance, will birth a desire that will not be denied because you are on the scene. You are near to us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless. Enjoy the video.